I came across this video online today. I think it's from the United States, but it obviously could be anywhere here in Canada too. Take a look. Get away Put from your me. mask on. I'm sorry, you can walk away from me right now, sir. Put your mask on. Get away from Put me. Put it please. on. Does it bother anybody else that she doesn't have to wear a mask that we all do? Just go away. Stay six feet away from me then. No. Get away from me. No. Yeah, get please on. get away I'm from me on. right now. No. You don't need to come near me. She has it on her damn hand. Get away from me. Walk away from me, sir. Please get away from me. You don't care. Leave me alone. She put, she, she Stay six feet away from me then. God, get out of here. I know who you voted for. So the first thing you'll notice, I'll play it again in a second, is he wasn't even wearing his own mask properly. He adjusts it very quickly, but in the first few seconds there, it's just over his mouth, not his nose, because he doesn't like wearing a mask either. It wasn't on properly. He sure was swearing and making a scene, even though he was wanting the other person, the lady who was filming it, to be the one getting the security attention. Um, I thought it was very interesting. He sort of gave it away when he said, does it bother anybody else in here that we have to wear a mask and she doesn't? Um, I think that shows you that he wasn't really a masker so much as if I have to wear it, everyone else does, which is another way of saying if I'm submissive, obedient, and if I surrender, I don't want anyone else to be, you know, to show more courage than me. He says, she has it in her own hand. She swore again. I thought the perfect line was the last one. I know who you voted for. I think that's pretty obvious, too. Here, let's just watch it one more time and keep an eye peeled for all the little tells that I just said. Take a look. Get away Put from your me. mask on. I'm sorry. You can walk away from me right now, sir. Put your mask on. Get away from Put me, Put it please. on. Does it bother anybody else that she doesn't have to wear a mask that we all do? Just go away. Stay six feet away from me, then. No. Get away from me. No. Yeah, get Please on. get away from me right now. No. You don't know why. You don't need to come near me. She has it on her damn hand. Get away from me. Walk away from me, sir. Please get away from me. You don't care. Leave me alone. She put she Stay six feet away baby. from me then. God, get out of here. I know who you voted for. <laughs> yeah, what a snitch, what a scold into public shaming. We've seen that from politicians too. Uh, we see John Tory, um, the, the mayor of Toronto. We see the premier of Manitoba naming and shaming into public shaming. That's not about the virus, is it? Obviously, the man was not really scared. He kept walking towards her. If you think someone's typhoid Mary, you don't keep going closer and closer to her, especially when she says back off, you run away from her. He's mad that she uh, isn't obeying, and he sort of, I sense he doesn't want to obey either. And I think one more thing, and it's one of the problems with masks, is a mask gives you at least semi-anonymity, which gives you license. It's one of the reasons why people online are so mean. Um, they are either fully anonymous, they have a made-up name, or they're sort of anonymous because they're not right face-to-face -face with a person. It's easier to insult someone. It's easier to engage in bad behavior if no one knows who you are. So wearing a mask, or at least a partial mask, I think gave him the confidence is the wrong word, but the license to be abusive to a woman that he would never do that to in any other circumstance. Just terrible. I think people are getting fed up about that. And frankly, that man is getting fed up about his situation. He was just expressing it in a very poor way. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.